The word Yavan already reveals to us the nature of what the Greeks were trying to cause the Jews and the victory ultimately of the Jews over the Greeks. The Yavanim, in the word Yavan, they took the Yud, which is a small letter, Yehudi, which is suspended in the air, which is reflective of the fact that the Jew always wants to strive towards the Kaddish Baruch Hu, and they said, why do you want to strive towards the Kaddish Baruch Hu? Let's drag it down. The next letter in the Yavan is Vav. Go down, be more earthly, don't always strive to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. And just when the Jew thought that he went down enough, that's when they bring the Nun Safid, which is even lower. Totally disassociate from, from spiritual matters. Don't try to strive higher. Go down, deep down, deep down, and just serve this planet. Be earthly. Don't worry at all about religious strivings. That is what Devanim tried to do. The Holy Rebbe Reb Zusha oftentimes found creative ways to get closer to his creator, Ta'akadosh Baruch Hu. And some of those ways would sometimes include exile, self-imposed exile, unbeknownst and unknown to anyone. He would walk out of his home and travel the countryside from town to town. The seclusion that was afforded to him through total anonymity, he found helped him connect to his creator. And so, town to town he would travel and he would, in every town, cast his lot with the poor of that, pe with the poor, with the poor of that town. For food, for lodgings, whatever they did, he would do. He got to a town once and in that town, they had told him that in this town there is a rich gvir that feeds everyone. The only condition is that you have to bring a Dvar Torah. He has nice lavish meals and he'll share if you bring a Dvar Torah. So Reb Zusha said, well if that's where everyone's eating, that's where I'll eat as well. Friday night the gvir set his table, the poor people came and he went around the table asking for Dvar Torah. He got to Reb Zusha and he said, nope, do you have a Dvar Torah? And Reb Zusha said, no Dvar Torah, I'm not really much of a learner, I don't have much to say. The Gvir said to him, listen, that's a condition. If you want to have a meal here, you must, must give a Dvar Torah. Tomorrow, do you have one? Tomorrow, I'll try to have one. The next day, lunch, they came to Reb Zusha and he says, no, do you have a Dvar Torah? And Reb Zusha says, the truth is, I don't really have a Dvar Torah. But, this morning, I was reading Tehillim. And when reading Tehillim, I came across a very curious Pasuk. The Pasuk in the 10th parak of Tehillim says, Hello, Rasha, Altavas Nafsha. Which literally means, that a person who is wicked praises that which he desires, his taibas, his desires he praises. Oh, it's great to be a glutton. It's great to do this. It's great to sleep late. Whatever it is that he craves, he praises. But Zusha pretended not to know the real shot of the Pasuk, and he said, I don't understand this Pasuk. Hillel Russia? How could they possibly call Hillel a Russia? Hillel was such a tzaddik. Hillel was humble. Everyone knows that the holy Tana Hillel was a humble person. How can they call him a Russia? Hillel, Russia, al Tavas Nafsha. This Pasuk is very, very troubling to me, said Reb Zusha. And everyone at the table began to laugh because that's clearly not what the Pasuk was saying. Until Reb Zusha answered his own question. And Reb Zusha said, you know what the source of Russia is, of wickedness? Sometimes a person, a Russia, in order to get his Tavas Nafsha, in order to get his desires, he tells himself Hillel. He tells himself, be humble. Meaning, he says, I know that gluttony is not the best thing in the world, but tzaddikim, they stay away from gluttony. Me, I'm not a tzaddik, I'm a nothing. He's, I'm a hillel, I'm humble, I, that's not for me. He says, yeah, putting on your tefillin with kavana, or davening with kavana, that's a very noble thing for tzaddikim, but what am I? I'm a nothing, I'll just go 18 minute, 18 minute uh, minion factory and I'll be done with it. That's what he tells himself, he humbles himself. The Yavanim tried to humble us excessively and they said, you're nothing, you're nothing. Don't worry about striving towards, towards godly things. Stay in this world. And the lesson of Hanukkah is that we have to have a little bit of chutzpah. We have to be a little bit brazen. We have to say, we are a Yid. We are suspended in midair. Yes, we're connected to the world, but we have to have a striving towards elevated goals and lofty goals. Not to just be content to be a nothing. Happy Hanukkah, everyone.